Hi, it's Corrine with the Cut at Home Design Team, and today I wanted to share with you a What's Trending video. So we always seem to use titles for our cards, our scrapbook pages, or maybe mixed media projects that we're doing. And I always like to add a title to my page or a title to my card. And there are several ways that you can give them a little dimension. And I just kind of want to go over a few of those today. And um, hopefully you'll find this helpful. So whether it be a card or a scrapbook page, we always seem to put a title and let me share one here. This is actually a smash book page that I did and I wanted a really large title and I wanted to give it just a little bit of dimension. It's in a book so I didn't want it to be two dimensional but as you can see here I cut out a very bold font from my cameo and to give it the dimension that I wanted I cut out three different titles. So the exact same title and then I just layered them together. And I'm not sure how well that'll pick up but I think you can see there there is some dimension. So I just wanted to share a few different ways that you can get dimension on whatever title that you're using. So a couple different ways is you can use foam tape. This is Scotch 3M foam tape. I got this roll at Walmart and you can cut it down to whatever sizes that you want. You can use pop dots and there are all different sizes and even colors of pop dots. These are from Stampin' Up! so they're very thin. You can also buy them thicker. So there's thick ones in here and then thick ones but they're a little bit smaller squares or you can cut these down to size. And I even got these at the dollar store and they're in black. Another thing I like to use when I'm popping something up is chipboard. You can use a medium weight chipboard. This I like to use under cards, so it's pretty thick, or a very lightweight chipboard. And this is very lightweight, so it will cut through your um, die cut machine very easily. Another way, and I'm sure you have seen Jennifer McGuire use this, is Fun Foam. You can use this and that also cuts well through your die cutting machine or you can simply layer different titles. So I have cut this out and I'm just going to use a wet adhesive and just show you the effect that you can get. So as you can see here I have four different titles or the same title but four of them. And this is cut out on 110 pound weight cardstock. I'm using Scotch Quick Tray. You can also use a pattern piece of paper on the top and use white for the other three if it matches well. So I just quickly glued four of them together and now let me see if I can show you up close the dimension you get from that. So that gives it a nice 3D effect and this would look great on a scrapbook page, even a card. Another way that I did that, I did that with a very delicate die cut. This is using a Spellbinders die. It's the De Delights die sentiment three. And I'll have all these listed in the description box and at Cut at Home's blog. But this die set comes with the word with love and happy birthday. So I cut out the word with love three different times in white cardstock. And then the fourth time I cut it out and I colored the cardstock using my new chameleon pens, which you'll be seeing these in upcoming videos. I really love these. I used the bubblegum pink out of it, and I just colored the cardstock, then ran it through my die cutting machine, and I made a quick card with it. This card I cut out, or I first stamped it with a Joy Claire Hugs and Smiles stamp, this large flower cluster, colored them with my chameleon pens use these Spellbinder Celebrations pierced rectangles 
and I use the second largest cut from it and then also the piercing that matches with it. For the blue paper I use some of the Celebrations by Spellbinders cardstock. I love the cardstock that you get with this. So I added that blue behind it. I popped it up on some chipboard to give it dimension. Put it on a white cardstock. And now to finish it off with a very simple but pretty sentiment, I use the With Love, like I said, so I will glue that on. This is a technique I like to use because it does, when you're holding the card in hand, you can feel the dimension that this sentiment gives. And I really like that extra touch. So I'm just going to add that on here, press it down. And this pink matches the pink in one of the flowers at the top there. So now we have a very simple, very pretty note card, and like I said, this give it, gives it lots of dimension. Hopefully you can see that here. So another thing I would like to do is show you by running it through my Sizzix Big Shot with some Fun Foam. So I'm using Fun Foam that I got from Michaels. You can get this in the children's craft area. And I'm going to use a white piece. And I'm actually, you can either cover this with paper or cut it out directly just on the white foam piece. So I'm going to cut it out on the white foam piece. I'm going to use my Sizzix Precision Base Plate. And again, if I wanted to add paper on the top of this, I could, but I want this to just be white. So let me run this through. And because of the precision base plate, this cuts out beautiful. And this is an absolutely beautiful font. It is from Penny Black. Creative dies. It has the word dream and imagine. I cut out the word dream. And this is the envision. So now I simply just have to press out or poke out the centers of all these. I have a very dimensional cut for a card, a scrapbook page, whatever I would like. So this gives some nice dimension to your sentiments. Use this word dream with pattern paper that I glued down. I added some of the lightweight chipboard under it and here is it used on a card. Again, it might be a little bit hard to pick up but it has dimension to it and that's using the lightweight chipboard under the word dream. So that's a nice way to give it dimension. Next I want to run through these dies from Marianne Design Collectibles. Add a cutting plate on top. Again, still using my precision base plate. And now, if I want to say use the word high, I can either use whatever type of foam tape. I'm going to go ahead and use my 3M here and cut it down to size.
So now you just remove the tape backing and add it to your project. And this gives you great dimension. And then to this card I just added a couple little enamel dots. Again, giving it a little bit more dimension. And with the word dream from the fun foam or the word memories, you can simply put together a quick note card by folding some cardstock, getting some coordinate, coordinating paper. And then I have this little cute printout. I could glue that on and I could either put the word dream and that makes a really cute dimensional sentiment or the word memories as well would look really cute on there. I hope I've given you some ideas on how you can add a little bit of dimension, a little bit of 3D effect to your sentiments or um, your single cut letters as well. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I will have all the information listed on Cut at Home's blog along with products shown today. Thanks for watching.